Ozone and AOP. Water and Wastewater Treatment, Part 1. Raw water can be highly contaminated with toxic chemical pollutants and disease-causing pathogens and pyrogens. Oxidation is the most effective technology for potable drinking water for human consumption. Similarly, oxidation is also used in the tertiary stage of domestic STPs, and industrial ETPs, wastewater treatment plants. Oxidation Potential of the Different Oxidants Fluorine has 3.0 electron volts. Free OH radicals have 2.8. Nascent oxygen has 2.42. Ozone has 2.07. Hydrogen peroxide has 1.78. Potassium permanganate has 1.7. Chlorine gas has 1.36. Oxygen has 1.23. Bromine has 1.09. Hypochlorous acid has 0.95. Sodium hypochlorite has 0.94, iodine has 0.54 electron volts. Commonly used disinfectant. Chlorine is the most commonly used disinfectant worldwide as an oxidant for treating raw water and wastewater. The use of chlorine is banned worldwide as residual chlorine in drinking water is carcinogenic. Also, residual chlorine in discharged wastewater produces environmentally hazardous DDPs. Ozone and AOP as oxidant. Ozone is an alternative oxidant used to treat raw water and wastewater. Advantages of ozone and AOP. Ozone has a higher oxidation potential compared to chlorine. Ozone disinfection byproducts, DBPs, are less and safe for the environment. Residual ozone discharged with wastewater is environmentally safe. Residual ozone quickly and naturally reverts back to safe oxygen. Ozone and AOP are produced on-site. Principle of generation of ozone and AOP. Electrically using the corona discharge technique, ozone is generated at the site by providing oxygen as a feed gas. The oxygen molecule is split to form an oxygen atom, and this oxygen atom combines with the oxygen molecule to create ozone. AOP is advanced oxidation process where free hydroxyl radicals are generated by dosing H2O2 or ultraviolet radiation, which is done on ozonated water or wastewater. New installations and retrofitting. Chemtronics has an experienced and competent team of experts who can implement the ozone and AOP for the new upcoming water and wastewater treatment plants. Also, we can customize the ozone and AOP retrofit for your existing facilities. Now, let us see the basic block diagram of the ozone and advanced oxidation process integration. First, ambient air is compressed and stored in an air receiver. Then it is filtered for any physical particles, dust and oil and fed to the oxygen concentrator. The oxygen concentrator works on vacuum pressure swing adsorption. This oxygen is stored in a receiver, and from here, oxygen is fed into the ozone generator, producing a high ozone concentration. The water cooling system provides necessary cooling to the ozone generator. Now with a mixing arrangement, the ozone is mixed into the water or wastewater to oxidize the pollutants, contaminants, and microorganisms. Here, the advanced oxidation process can be added to generate free hydroxyl radicals to enhance the oxidation process. The return on investments. There are no consumables, refills, or recharge for zonation and AOP. Only electricity is required. Since ozone can only be produced at the site, as and when required, you don't need to order, store, or handle it. So cost saving. You also get better handling and storage safety. Ozone is highly safe for treating potable drinking water as a process and the consumers. Ozone and AOP provide the cheapest form of environment compliance for wastewater treatment and disposal. Please contact us today for any clarification on ozone oxidation or AOP. Thanks for your precious time. Visit us at www.chemtronicsindia.com.